What's up guys? Back at it again. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we are going to be adding a video player to our Udon tutorial world. So let's go ahead and boot up Unity. There we go. Wrong world. Okay, here we go. In our practice world with all our objects we've been making, um, time to make a new one. So let's go down here to our VR chat examples, go to video players, and make sure you grab the Unity one. Drag and drop it into your world wherever you would like. And let's take a look at some of these settings. So in order to edit this, we're going to have to unpack it first. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to change the name to Video Player. So the first thing we want to look at is our maximum resolution. That's no good. Let's go to 1080. Mm, the rest of this looks pretty good. make sure it renders correctly in game. All right, looks uh, looks good. Let's move it up a little bit so that URL is actually visible. Click on the video player, move it up slightly. There we go, that's better. Okay, so right now this just loads in and someone can enter a URL, the video should play. Uh, but let's say we want it to auto auto play a uh, video when somebody loads in. Let's try that. All right. So let's say we want it to auto play a video. Grab a YouTube link, throw it in there, and let's uh, see if that works. Give it a second to load the video in. And there we go. It's actually uh, loaded in now. I actually had to restart my client real quick. It wasn't loading. So if you give it, let's say, like 30 seconds and it doesn't load the video, just restart your client. I don't know, maybe it built weird. Sometimes you got to rebuild these things. It, it happens. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's working. Let me turn my world audio off. And stop video, stops the video. So let's grab another URL and uh, see if we can enter a URL and it'll play it. Yep, 
looks to be working to me. All right. Okay, well, normally I like my video players not as collision objects. I don't really like people colliding into them. So let's do that. Let's go to our video player. So what we're actually going to do, because this is another one of those objects that the developers do not like to be on by default, especially when you have autoplay, is make it toggleable. So we're going to take our very first trigger we made for the mirror. We're going to actually rename this. We're going to copy it. Rename it. Our script should be okay to use the exact same one, but we need to change the object. So what we're going to do is take this mirror, or video player, I'm sorry. And that is going to be our object. Actually, no, that's not going to work. We're going to need a new script. Okay, so let's go to our script down here. Let's find it again the easy way. Click the cube, click the script, copy the script. Rename it. Assign it to the cube. Or, er, yeah, to the cube. So I'll take our video trigger. Okay. Let's open this. And instead of the VRC mirror, we want the video player. Now we can go back to our scene, click the cube, Ah, we have this extra variable we don't need. There we go. Let's just compare this to our other one as well. Okay, they look good. Ah, here we go, we forgot this line. There we go. Let's go back to our scene. Has the video player. All right, so that should now work. Let's test it out. Actually, let's do it like the way we did with the mirror. We'll go to the video player, make sure it's off by default. Okay, and now let's try it. All right, off by default, this should toggle it on. It does, perfect. And then the video starts auto playing. So that works exactly like we want it to. Perfect. And that is how you make a toggleable, appropriate video player in a world for VR chat. And you can adjust some of those other values as you see fit. There's a loop option. Actually, let's go take a look at those real quick. 
So if you don't want the video to autoplay, we can turn that off right here. And if you do want it to loop, we can turn that on right here. Some of the other options include messing with the inputs. So you can change some of these input fields, or you can even, if you don't want there to be an input field, if you only want it to loop your video, kind of like a background, just go ahead and delete or hide that input field. So let's check this. We can just go to the input field and uncheck that. And then everybody will, everybody will be forced to watch your video. It doesn't, don't have an option. I mean, they can stop it, but other than that, um, they can't put their own video links in. If you would like to just remove the audio, you can delete the audio source and it'll be a video only. But that is essentially everything you can do with a video player. I hope you guys uh, found this useful. And if it, you followed it step by step, got it to work, leave a like or a comment. And if you didn't, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out with what's wrong. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.